Hi guys, today we're going to look at how to use the stroke tool. Now strokes are really just outlines, so it's an effect that's on the outside of an element that you select. So today I'm going to take, I'll do something simple, I think I'll take the heart and we'll use that for the stroke. All right, so we'll put this over here. Okay, so here's our heart and it's pink. The stroke tool looks like a little box at the very bottom right next to the fill. The first thing you'll want to do is pick a color for it and you can actually do some special effects in the stroke too but we're going to keep it simple today and just use a straight color. I'm going to use a purple and I've selected that's the color that I want and then you'll notice immediately that there's an outline. Well the next thing you'll see is there's a little number next to it and this allows you to change the width of the stroke. So you can make it bigger, or you can make it smaller. I'm going to make this image a little bit bigger, and that makes it a little bit easier to see, especially if there's a larger stroke that's on it. And that is really all there is to making a stroke. If you want to play a little bit with some of the effects that are there, you can. I'm going to do just a red and I'll make that black. It's a little bit easier to see a gradient when it's that way. You can actually add some special effects to the way that the shading happens. In this case since I made it that I'm gonna make the middle red and that makes it a little bit easier to see the effect that was done. That's a radial gradient so you can apply different kinds of gradients to your stroke as well. The same way we can have a linear one and we can make it go from left to right as well. So yeah, that's all there is to it with creating strokes, and you can use them to definitely change the way that your elements look and feel. I hope you guys have found this video useful. Have a great day.